Hey fam, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's officially Thursday. I'm uploading Halloween tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday. I don't know if I guys told you, like, I don't know if I told you that. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I did a male version of this couple's costume, which you guys can watch right here if you want to. And then today we're gonna do the female version. So again, this video is in partnership with Sexy Hair and they brought me this incredible inspiration photo, which is actually from Ellie, when I actually know her and I love her so much. We'll have her credited down in the description box below because that's how, uh, that's where this look was inspired from to then couple with the male version that I posted uh, a couple days ago. So definitely check her out. She does amazing uh, uh, Halloween looks and she's the bop. But I'm just gonna let my beautiful Mani Alani, beautiful Mani Alani. <laughs> Great. And without further ado, I will just let my beautiful Mani Alani take over from here. I said it again. All right, so step one is that you're gonna take any black coal or any black pencil liner that you have and you're gonna use that to etch out the overall design that you want. Um, I'm using a black um, eyeliner pencil because it's a great way to blend in and use it for shading later on. But if you guys are new to face paints and kind of this process, I would definitely use a nude or a white eyeliner because it makes it easier to remove and kind of alter lines. But you guys can see here that I'm just creating kind of the general outline and um, I'm taking a look at it every time I place any line down and then you'll see every now and then that I start to change them and just rub them off with my thumb to kind of just create a different shape. And this is kind of helps keep you focused throughout the entire makeup. And I spend the most amount of time doing this step. And then if you do this step well, the rest of your makeup will be a breeze because you will have that, you know, that uh, guide and you will have that path to follow and you won't get lost. I have a problem getting lost. Maybe you do too, you know, who's to say? Generally, the main shapes that we're creating with this makeup look are the teeth, which you guys can see me doing now, and that entire mouth tear part, the forehead skull, tiny holes on the side, the left side of the face, and then a open hole of the chest. So um, that's those are kind of the main points you want to hit. But now if you're using a black eyeliner like I am, I'm taking a little small brush, and I am just going to buff out and diffuse that black line, and I'm going to do that inward, and that's going to create shadow, and that's going to already help with blending later on. This helps make the makeup um, move a lot faster. Now I'm taking a blue uh, water activated face paint, any one that you guys have would work, you guys can see the color on the left side of the frame here, and I am just hugging it right where the skull, or the, the skin would start to meet uh, that skull right there, and that black line to get that line nice and crisp, and then just finish off this step by uh, painting the entire face blue. All right, now take any white eyeshadow. My current favorite is from this Norvina palette, which I'm obsessed with. It's amazing, and I use it in a different video. I love it. But now I'm going to take uh, that Norvina blue palette, which I also love for this makeup look, and I'm going to take this dark blue, and I'm going to use that to contour. Essentially, in this makeup, the blue is the skin. It's the face. And then you will, guys will see later on that the yellow will represent the skull underneath the skin, and then the brains and like the innards of the body would be are going to be a pink, which you will see. So right now we're just going to contour the skin just like you would in beauty makeup, just a little heavier. So I'm taking the, uh, this blue eyeshadow on a fluffy brush and I'm going to do that to the cheekbones and then the bridge of the nose, as you guys saw. I'm now setting the eyes with white eyeshadow and I'm just going to do beauty makeup quickly off camera since, you know, this video is already going to be long enough. Uh, it's just regular beauty makeup, it just happens to be blue. And then I'm taking a little bit of that same blue eyeshadow and I'm dusting that to the edge of that top line on the blue face and that's going to create a little bit of a white edge between where the shadow uh, stops and where that lighter blue used to be and that's going to create a nice bump. With a yellow face paint now, we're going to paint in any of the bones. So essentially, you want to, this makeup is in three layers. It's skin, bones, and then brains. So essentially, this is the second layer of the makeup, which we will shade later on to, to sell that illusion. But I'm going to uh, put all that yellow down just to show where the skull is being exposed underneath the skin. And of course, you're going to do that to all of the holes all around the face, except for the one in the chest, because the the bone, since the skeleton is yellow, we're going to paint the rib cage yellow, and then anything deeper than that would be pink. So you guys can see here, painted it yellow. You guys can see my face and my beautiful double chin off to the left side of the frame. Welcome. Welcome to my creative process. Okay, so now I'm taking a pink face paint, and I am going to paint in any negative space after that, after the yellow, and that's going to be the brain and the center of the chest later on. Beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? I think this makeup took me like around three hours. It's not too bad. Um, so now I'm taking a white water activated face paint and I am going to paint in the teeth there too. And then that's going to finish off kind of the paint by number section of this tutorial. And then essentially the rest of this is shading, which really brings makeup to life, which I love. 
So in instances like this, when I'm doing a full body or larger body paints, I try to find what can I shade with that is going to be the fastest and require the least amount of effort. And this is kind of what I've come up with so far. I'm taking the black face paint, and this is a cream-based paint. So I'm blending this cream base um, on top of a water-activated paint. So I'm taking that black ink because it's really easy to blend and diffuse, but you can also keep it very strong. So I'm just applying that right at the edge where the yellow meets the blue and then bringing that inward so the skin looks higher. Um, and the yellow looks more sunken in um, and I find that that cream um, again is the easiest because then you can go in with a black or gray powder eyeshadow after to really blow that out if you need be uh, I'm taking a black wicked eyeliner this one's by house laboratories which is my freaking favorite so far because you could it, you guys can see in this video it's just so black and it just glides and it gives me a really great straight line I really do appreciate it um, when doing other people's faces for line work I really really fell in love with it and you guys can see now that I am just gonna simply be outlining almost ev everything that we etched out on the entire face to create a lot of separation between each color and that will really bring it into life and I'm also using it to color in the entirety of the nose so now you guys can see I'm taking a black eyeshadow with a fluffier, smaller brush, and I am just going to dust where we put that black cream paint, and then with a lighter hand, just diffuse it right out into that yellow, and that is the quickest way that I have found so far to blend out black as quickly and as um, efficiently and effectively as possible. And if you guys happen to know one, please let me know, because these are the kind of tricks that I love when doing a paint like this when it doesn't take a million years, because of course this is a shoot with sexy hair and we had a few looks to get through, so you know I always wonder like how can I do this well but do this fast, so those are the, you know, the tricks. So uh, just really quickly now doing the same thing to the chest to tie that all together, and then I am taking this black eyeliner just to create a little bit of texture marks, just a little bit of line work, a little bit of dotting, uh, since this is pop art inspired, which is a uh, style of art. Um, just following kind of those rules and, and there's like little uh, little tidbits and textures here and there since the rest of it is shading this is a, a really a cool opportunity to create a little bit of extra zhuzh and then I'm taking that same liner and I'm going to fill in the eyebrow and I'm not going to do it quite as um, precise and beautiful I want it to be kind of more like etched on like more of like an ink stroke a brush stroke that was my vibe anyway tell me if you like it uh, now with the makeup more finished I'm just going to enhance some shadows and contours just to get that going and uh, solidify the you know the sunken in uh, aspect of the zombie and then I'm of course going to take a uh, larger blending brush and I'm going to do all of the parts of the, uh, the body that are exposed and then to finish off the face paint completely I am just going to take a pink fill in the lip with that do a little black line around it with that same liner you saw and then now create a little bit of black swirly lines on the brain and that will just solidify that is a brain and then we can move on to hair so I want texture. So I'm going in with Sexy Hair's Texture Beach and Spray, which is my favorite thing in the world. I use it on myself actually too now that I have my bangs. I'm sure you guys have known. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably already know that. But um, so I'm just spraying that to damp hair and it smells incredible. And then with a blow dryer, I am just going to start air forming how I want the hair to be in its final shape. And essentially for this look, I wanted volume, texture, and I wanted a large waterfall bang. So essentially the entire hair just uh, swoops over to the left. So I'm just going to solidify that with a round brush and I'm kind of brushing it forward and back and then you guys can see that that's going to start giving a lot of cool movement and that's going to also help with shine and volume and if you guys didn't know i'm actually a licensed hairdresser i have been for like 10 years um of course my platform is primarily makeup but yeah i am a licensed hairdresser which is fun um so essentially you get something like this and then we can go in with more styling products which i think sexy hair is really great at for texture i've been using them i think for like a decade and a half i actually love them so to actually be able to work with them uh you know, is a, it was a pretty cool first circle moment for me. Anyway, I stopped rambling. Now I'm going to take Sexy Hair's Frenzy, which is a matte texture paste, and I'm just going to help apply that uh, to the hair now, and that's going to help with pieciness and, of course, texture, but it also help up subdue any parts that look a little dry or frizz, uh, frizzy, and it's going to help really um, add some shine and, and, and movement to the hair, and it'll look very polished and finished which is a good thing. And then for my Holy Grail texture spray, we're going in with Surfer Girl, also by Sex Hair, of course. And I'm just going to finish off the hair with this, and I cannot leave the house without this stuff. I'm not kidding. I, I'm just a really, I really love texture, and I really like low shine, and this spray just does that. I mean, look at that. Just give it a little spoosh spoosh, and then you have your full look, my friends. I really hope you guys like this video, and that you guys go and create your own little pop art couples costumes out there. Oh my gosh, uh, I love you guys so much, and definitely subscribe, and if you like this video, uh, stick around, because there are more coming this October and Halloween season. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.